Let's get into it, guys. We are doing two rounds, 10 reps each. Um, so exercise, go at your own pace. Just make sure you complete 10 of each one twice. But let's get into it. So the first one is going to be a side twist. So a side twist is going to be, you're going to be in a lunge. Side twist. You're going to be in a rear lunge, starting with your right foot forward, and you're going to twist to the right. Center, right, and you're just going to hold it. Okay. That's going to be your advanced one. Your modified version is going to be on your knees, and you're just going to twist. So we're taking out the lunge. So do 10 on one side, and then switch your legs and do 10 on the other side. Yes. So pick your player, I guess, if you modify or not, and let's jump into it. And start your watch. Do you guys have watches or not? Because, you know, I forget a lot of the time to start up. But today, I am going to be doing the modified version and doing the advanced version. So the next one is we're going to be doing crunches so many, there's not really a modified version to this crunch other than coming um, halfway up versus fully. Um, but what you're gonna wanna do is lay back down on a mat or if you're on the carpet, you wanna keep your hands either behind your head or in front of you, arms reaching out, and you're just gonna try and lift your chest. You're really just keeping your head in a neutral position too, you're not hyperextending it forward. You're just gonna look up to the ceiling. And we're gonna do 10 reps of these. So when you're done, you're done. If you go faster, you're gonna end faster. Or have a longer break. Next one is a plank dip. So do you, would you like to show them if I'm sticking you? So your plank dip is going to be, you're either gonna be in a high, you're gonna be in a low plank on your forearms, making sure you're flat. That's one. Two, you're going to dip to the side, left first, but keeping your core tight, and then you're gonna come to the center, and then dip on the other side, and come to the center. So you're always going to go dip, center, dip, center, and always make sure you're going at like a slower pace because you don't want to be wobbly. And then if you're counting, you just do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, or 20 if you're going back. Yeah, I just got to 20. So get into it. If the high version is on these, the hands is going to be on your uh, forearms and toes. But remember to keep your hips from swaying as well. You don't want a lot of sway. I did that. It's real funny. Um, there's 11 different exercises. We're doing them twice. If you do them completely, you should be doing at least 380 crunches or using your core. So 380 times. So that, that's a lot for 20 minutes. So if you feel sore tomorrow, this is probably why. But the next workout is going to be in and out. So what you want to do is you're going to be on your butt sitting, kind of leaning back. Your arms are going to be behind you, kind of resting. And what you're going to do is you're going to extend your legs out, in, out, in. And you want to bring the knees and your chest together. So it's not your knees all of that. The modified version for that is you're going to be sitting on your feet. So hands and feet, and you're just going to bring in one at a time. And then I'm resting. For those of you doing the advanced um, one, your back arms are not going to push your body forward. It's just helping to stabilize you, and your core should be your main thing and bringing your chest to your knees. So choose which one you want to try, and then start counting to ten. And then the next one during your break is going to be 
be rushing to place this in. One of the basic ones that you can do for a beat and abs, but what you're going to do is the advanced version is going to be seated again, get up slowly, float your legs up, and you're going to twist right, center, left, center. Again, going slower because we are focusing on a certain body uh, part, and the more slower you are, the more it's going to be focused and activated, and you're not using momentum. Um, for the modified version, you're going to again plant your heels, and you're just going to kind of lean back until your core is tight, and you're going to do it and go right, center, left, center. How fast or slow you wish to go to. So, and then just watch the body. But choose what you want to do. You're either going to float your legs like May, or you're going to plant your heels like me. But again, when you plant your heels, you just want to lean back until you feel your core is activated. That is the most important part of this workout. Yeah. So you're just going to be seated, obviously. And what you're going to do is you're going to do bicycle opposite elbow to opposite knee and twist. So you're going to do that. You can take them fast, you can take them slow. Again, it's your choice. For your modified version, is more so like the Russian push. You're going to be seated, your feet are going to be planted, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Just again, just planting your heel when you're done. Yeah. So choose what you want to do, what works with your body. And then, as always, make sure you count 10 on each leg. I just like to add them together and just count up to 20. The next one we are going to do is toe reaches. So you're going to lean all the way back, lay down on your back. You're going to bring your feet up to over the ceiling. And you're going to try and reach to your toes. If you don't have to touch your toes, you can touch your shins, you can touch your knees. Again, just bringing your chest up off the ground. So, choose what you want, the buffer's not really want to play virgin. You're just going to just reach as high as you can, pretty much, but don't over straighten your back. Yeah, and keep your neck in a neutral position. These might go a little bit faster. So, windshields are advanced version you're going to bring your knees up and you're just going to bring your legs as far to the side as possible before your shoulders come off the ground you want to keep your back and upper body on the ground so you're not going to come all the way as well as may unless you know these already so go as far as you can as once you feel your core intact bring it back up and then take them back down to the other side so don't go too far because you can hurt your back with this one as well. Um, modified version is going to be, you're going to be laying on your back, knees kind of like you're in a tabletop, and you're just going to bring your knees as far to the ground as possible. But again, you're not going to want your shoulder to come off the ground. You also don't want your knees to touch the ground. The hard part of it is the part that you go down towards the ground, it activates your core, and it's that strain on your core and abs as you lift your leg back up. That's hard. So choose which one is going to be comfortable. If you haven't done this before, you can try a modified version. You might not like this. This might hurt your back. If it hurts your back, stop doing it and just take a longer break. But for this, you're going to really focus on just letting gravity kind of take your knees or your legs. And then once you feel your abs are intact, then pull them back together. Again, you're not going to be using momentum if you can't. This could also be a really good back stretch for some. Next one, which is the last one out of this circuit is going to be off, opposite arm and leg 
reach. So what you're going to do is be in a pike position, which is going to be down dog. Down dog. Down dog. And what you're going to do is you're going to do opposite arm to opposite foot. As far as you can, you don't need to touch your opposite foot. You're just going to be doing the cross. Crossing is what matters the most here. This is the advanced version where you're going to be in high plank. The modified version is you're going to be in a high plank, but you're going to touch or cross, come down, come up, cross, down, up, down. So you're not going to be in a high plank for the entire time. That's the only difference with this one. Um, yeah. yeah. Choose your choose your modified or advanced for this one and go for it. Okay, so that was the first round. That's the 11 exercises that we are going to do for the second round. Okay, and that's it. Um, hope you guys liked it. Let us know what you guys want to work out on the weekends and we can start making those workouts for you guys. Thank you guys for joining. Hope you guys liked it. Let us know in the comments and the community page what you guys want to do, what days work for you, what time, whatever. Let us know what you guys think and we will try to modify for you. Yeah.